Hello everyone, my name is Anatoly and today we are reacting to yet another South Park episode recommended by you guys. The episode is called Cripple Fight. You want me to get cancelled, don't you? <laughs> Let's see how this goes. The first thing you see is Timmy being driven in the back of a pickup truck. Wasn't there a way to put him in the car? <laughs> Well, you boys must be pretty excited. Your first night of scouts. It's gonna suck. There's gonna be all these new kids there we don't know. Ooh. Well, now that's part of the fud. Yeah, both Kenny's dad and I were in scouts for years. Was your dad in scouts, Cartman? Oh yeah, you don't have a dad. <laughs> 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 After what I saw, I don't think it is quite appropriate to enrage Cartman. This is not the best decision. <laughs> uh, that's not funny! Jesus Christ! Are you excited for your first night of scouts, Timmy? Yeah, Timmy! Yeah, he's excited. Couldn't they just drive one more time and pick up Timmy like a normal person? Or is he unable to get off his wheelchair? I am very confused. I am very confused. Alright boys, we're gonna head to the bar. We'll be back to pick you up at 9. You boys just make sure to obey the scout leader now. He's the man in charge. Hello, scouts! <laughs> hey, it's Big Al! Hello, Stanley. I was happy to see you and your little friend's names on the list. Timmy! You're the new scout leader? I just got transferred in. I think everyone's here now so we can get started. Come on, scouts, we've got work to do. Hooray! Hey. See you, Dad. Now, be honest, you would also be perplexed if you saw Big Gay Al instruct your kids. <laughs> hey, are you parents gonna stand there all night? This meeting is for scouts only, you silly gooses. <laughs> now, before we get started, scouts, I want to introduce you to some... Troop 69. <laughs> Why? Someone very special here tonight. He's a brave little boy with disabilities who proves just by being here that scouts are for everyone. Jimmy! So let's all give a big round of applause to little Jimmy. <laughs> so this is the first episode we ever see Jimmy. I thought he was originally from South Park. <laughs> Jimmy? Look, I'm not saying the new scout leader's a bad person. I just don't think he should be a scout leader. We got to where he is by being a good scout. Maybe we should just leave him alone. Well, how gay is he? He's really, really gay. Well, then I don't want my boy there either. So he's a homosexual, so what? I have nothing against homosexuals either, Randy. But the big camping trip is next week. Are you saying you're fine with this guy camping overnight, alone, with our boys? You know, boys emulate authority figures. Even if it doesn't turn them gay, they could end up all talking all femme and prancing around like girls. Yeah. I like how every dad in South Park has this homosexual tendencies, but then they're like, Big Al is a big threat to our kids. <laughs> Also, what the hell happened with the fellow on the right? He looks 5 and 50 at the same time. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. People, people, please! You're forgetting that homosexuality is a choice. As many of you know, I myself went through a homosexual phase. <laughs> of course. Lord Christ showed me how to change. Just give me two hours with this man and I can convert him back. That's what you said about Peterson and then you ended up having sex with him. <laughs> That's quite the atonement of sins. <laughs> that's what I did. And so that's how to make banana nut muffins. And now, as a very special treat, our very special friend Jimmy is going to do what he loves most. Motivational stand-up comedy. Let's give him a big hand. Wow, what a great audience. Well, just in case you were wondering, I do have a disability. I am totally happy with the way I was born very much. I travel to different states and talk to kids about being proud of what they are. My mom says God has a plan for everyone. I guess I was plan B. Oh. <laughs> you guys like impersonations? Why is it that every time we have a South Park episode about disabled people, there's an envy issue in the middle? <laughs> How about Jimmy Stewart? Merry Christmas, movie house. And John Travolta. Oh my god, Mr. Carter. Mr. Carter, oh, oh my god, Mr. Carter. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's funny, dude. Yeah, well, he's the coolest kid with disabilities in the world. Huh. Uh, Kenny, it's 9 o'clock. Come on, Stanley. Hey, Jimmy, you want to come join our bake sale in South Park tomorrow? Jeez, sure, that'd be great. Thanks, fellas. Come on, Stan. Bye, Big Al. We had a great time. Oh, Bye, Bye, Jimmy. Jimmy. See you tomorrow at the bake sale, fellas. You were right, Dad. Scouts is awesome. Woo! We told ghost stories and learned how to make a tornado in a glass bottle. Yeah, we learned how to make cakes and muffins for our bake sale. And best of all, we met this kid named Jimmy. He's disabled, but he doesn't let it ruin his life. He's awesome. <laughs> 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 
the pure rage in Timmy. Once again, South Park is trying to make you feel like disabled people are normal people who can also be envious and can also be assholes. And this is a great depiction. This is reality. Use him to help raise money at our bank sale. Cartman, don't say use him, you big silly goose. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I just called Cartman a name. He's a, he's a silly goose. Uh -huh. Silly goose. You do not say big silly goose. You call him an asshole like a normal kid. But Dad, I was just trying to. Stanley, you call your friend an asshole this instant. Asshole. That Son, homosexually pronounced insults are not allowed in this household. <laughs> That's better. Don't call me an asshole, you son of a bitch. <clears throat> uh, hello. We are having a bake sale to raise money for Scout Troop Number Six Nine. Uh, please stop by and give us a hand. And now for your entertainment, our new best friend, stand-up comic Jimmy. Wow, what a great audience. I <laughs> God, I hate when stand-up comedians do this. Like when every single minute they're like, you're on fire tonight. Give a big round of applause to yourselves. Like, shut up. Just joke. Just continue joking. I just flew into South Park. Boy, are my crutches tired. <laughs> what a terrific audience. You know, people sometimes ask me, are you angry at God for making disabled people? I say, no, I think the world is better with P President Bush. <laughs> <laughs> what a brave... Wait, let me check something. I just checked and this episode aired before 9-11. <laughs> Interesting. I love him. <laughs> well, I sure have met a lot of interesting people here in South Park. How about that Eric Cartman kid, huh? God damn it! God, no kid is at my pie pie! God damn it! God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I don't sound like that. And how about that school counselor? Uh, drugs are bad. Uh, drugs are bad, okay? D drugs, are, drugs are bad, okay? Okay? Wow, what a great audience. Mr. Mr. Hat, be quiet, Mr. Hat. Mr. Hat. Hello there, children, Mr. Hat. Hello, Mr. Hat. <laughs> what the hell is this? I, I kind of feel uncomfortable from people overreacting. I know that Jimmy might have some funny jokes, but don't you think that they are a bit too joyful when they hear every joke of his? I don't know. I'm making stuff very stink for this. Stuff very stink for this. God damn it, God damn it. And of course, my very favorite, Timmy. Timmy, I'm, li I'm living a lie. I'm living a lie. Timmy. I'm living a lie. How is that a joke? Timmy, I'm living a lie. Ah, Timmy. Sometimes it's like, please, Timmy, learn a new word. Timmy! Timmy! <laughs> well, you know, kind of deserved. Kind of deserved. Looks like when it comes to comedy, I really take the cake. I really take the cake. I really take the cake. Jimmy! 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 The scouts have a policy that openly gay men cannot belong. We are left with no options, Mr. Al. I'm afraid you are hereby out of scouts. Out of scouts? We're sorry, Mr. Gay Al. But I've been in scouts since I was nine. It's a huge part of my life. Uh, you must understand that scouts is a private club, a club that follows certain beliefs, and one of those beliefs is that homosexuality is immoral. You know, once again, I think that this stems from the insecurities of the closeted homosexual parents of South Park. <laughs> that's that's the main reason. I see. It's nothing against you personally. What if I promise not to be gay anymore? Pinky swear. We think it's best you just move on. Right. Move on. Also, how do you verify gayness? Is there a specific device that you should use, like... Oh, this fella, he's a five on the Tim Cook gay scale. Oh, hey, Timmy. I'm glad you called very much. I've been detecting some animosity towards me lately, and I was hoping we could bury the hatchet. Tim, uh, what's that? Who live with that, Tim? A present? You got me a present? Tim, uh. Gee, you didn't have to do that. I mean, I understand why you'd be jealous of my talents. Last chance to look at me, Hector. <laughs> if you work at it, maybe you could be as handy capable as I am, huh? Wow, a Parker. You, you didn't have to do that, Tim, Tim. <laughs> Someone's about to be struck by lightning or something. Tim, Tim, Oh, sure. I'll see if it fits. This is very warm. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Tim, Tim. Well, I'll see you around. Tim, 
Seems like a very, very casual situation for South Park. <laughs> like, they don't give a damn. Tap, tap it. <laughs> White Swallow Camp? Is this the same one Butter's dad used to attend? <laughs> I don't want to know how the snake in that picture felt. <sighs> Five go. Okay, okay, Mark, start playing now. <laughs> hey, don't yell at me. You ask me to come over and play sad songs for you to pack to, and then you yell at me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but... <laughs> Also, the nipple of Big Al, it kind of makes me feel a bit uncomfortable. But now I've packed everything away, so just well, play something uplifting, like I'm gonna put all this behind me and make it okay music. Oh, I don't want her, you can have her, she's too fat for me. Oh, Jesus, Mark. What? <laughs> Isn't that 90% of the rap songs nowadays? <laughs> Parents, this is the new scout leader, Mr. Grazier. He will be taking over for the homosexual. Nice to meet you. Marsh, right? We actually kind of know each other. Your wife and mine are friends. Your wife, huh? Let me tell you something, kids. It's not the open gaze that you should fear. It's the closeted ones. <laughs> ...is the head of a girls' mountain scouts troop. Well, I guess we're off to the bar until nine, then. Gonna go pound some brews, huh? And so I said to him, hey, I, I may be handicapped, but, but I'm not dead. <laughs> wow, what a terrific audience. Well, for my next joke, I'm gonna need a volunteer from the audience very much. How about you, Timmy? Timmy. Sure, come on up here, Tim Tim. <laughs> Timmy, ladies and gentlemen, let's all give him a hand very much. Come to think of it, give him a pair of legs, too. <laughs> Don't worry, I identify as disabled, so it's, it's okay for me to laugh. <laughs> here, Timmy, put on this silly hat. Just for a second, Timmy. What a douchebag. What a joke, Timmy. Hey, don't push me! Come on! Cripple fight! <laughs> Every time there is a race, ethnic, or cripple fight, Carton is gonna be in the first row, cheering it up. <laughs> he is gonna be there, be sure. That is enough, Scouts! Take your seats! Ah! Uh. All right, Scouts, I am your new Scout Master, Mr. Grazier. Together we are going to become the best, the sleekest, the most well-polished Scout troop in all of Colorado. Isn't that right? That's stereotypical. When I ask <laughs> you a question, you will answer, yes, Scout Master. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Scout Master. Good. Now the first activity for this evening will be... Naked Pictures. <laughs> <laughs> This really went from Sparta to Sparta in 10 seconds. <laughs> I'm going to take some pictures of each of you naked in case we need them for later. Aww. Oh, what is this? If there's one thing I hate, it's a whining platoon. <laughs> we don't want to do push-ups. We don't want to get up early. We don't want to have you take naked pictures of us. Man, this guy sucks. Now, fall in and strip down, scouts. I think he literally sucks. All right, Scouts, we're gonna end this meeting with a little puppet show. Here's a little Scout. He's always prepared. He's always ready. Now, here's a little Scout telling his parents that Mr. Grazier took naked pictures of him. Look what happened. Oh, no! Oh, what the? Oh, no. <laughs> Do I make myself... What a freak. But this is what you get, South Park parents, for banishing Big Al from your party. <laughs> Self clear, Scouts! Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Oh, hello, parents. All right, that's all the time we have for tonight, Scouts. We sure had a great time, didn't we? Yes, sir, Scouts! Yes, sir. Wow, you sure whipped those kids into shape. Yeah, now they're acting like men. <sighs> I would not use those metaphors. <laughs> oh, you know what I say about kids? They're all pink on the inside. You bet. <laughs> no!
Do you think it would be a nice idea to make this guy teach kids sexual education in South Park? Hmm. I heard that. See you, Mr. Grazier. <sighs> Go away. I'm dead. Oh, well, here he is. Big Al, what are you doing? Yeah, get your big gay ass off the couch and come back down there again. <laughs> I can't, kids. I've been kicked out of Scout. Kicked out? Oh, no. But you have to come back. We hate our new Scout leader. Really? W why? We can't tell you. Why not? Oh, no. No. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. No. Please, Big Gale, we don't want to go on a camp trip with this guy next week. Boys, there's nothing I can do. The scouts don't allow homosexuals. Well, then that settles it. Fellas, what we're going to have to do is try to change the scouts' rules very much. What do we want? Change the scouts! When do we want it? <laughs> what do we I don't know, kids. You already have a big-ass homosexual in there. <laughs> to get some signatures. Puppies! Puppies for sale! Beat it, Toots, we got discrimination work to do. Alright, let's <laughs> The priorities. Set up. Uh, hi, we're here to collect signatures and support to force the scouts to accept gays. Uh, hello, gays and scouts? God damn it. Hey, why don't we have Jimmy do some stand-up comedy? Like it our bake sale very much. That's a great idea! Attention, Attention ladies and gentlemen! Now, now for your entertainment, stand-up stand -up comic, comic Jimmy! Wow, what a great audience. For my first joke, I'm gonna need a volunteer. Come on up here, Tim Tim. Don't do this again. Please, don't do this again. Timmy, when I tell you to do something, you do it. <sighs> Shut the hell up, Jimmy. <laughs> Shut the hell up. Timmy, Timmy, don't make me kick your ass. Timmy, put on your hat. Timmy, put it on. Dude, this looks like it could get ugly. Timmy? Damn it. Not this year. Fight scene? Damn it, damn it. Triple fight! I'm <laughs> <laughs> not gonna lie, I'm also a bit excited. Kaboom! Damn it. <laughs> Wait, what? what is Kyle's dad doing here? Wasn't he Jewish? Hey? Huh? Yes! <laughs> Attention shoppers, outside today we have Crippo Fight, Crippo Fight outside! Jesus Christ, dude! Just let him have it out, Susan. They'll run out of steam soon. This looks so wrong. Timmy? Timmy? I told you, put on the hat! <laughs> <laughs> I think I know the reference. Let me check. Of course it's a reference to the fight from They Live. <laughs> a pretty good depiction. You dirty motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> Even the phrases. Some kind of gay pride rally. <laughs> okay, so this is how they're gonna get the votes. <laughs> you know, a big mass doesn't care anymore. <laughs> I 
<laughs> this feels so wrong. Tom, I'm standing out front of Henry's supermarket where five brave little boys are holding a rally to support gays in scouting. <laughs> the rally is drawing so much attention that people from all over the country are taking media notice. Those boys have shown me the light. I never knew that Mountain Scouts was a hate group. This is a wake-up call to America. We cannot turn our backs on gays anymore. Isn't this always the case? People pick this random moment of revelation and then they start supporting the right cause. <laughs> As if they're very, very righteous. Oh god, they're actually pulling it off. The rally has also caught the attention of old Scouts members, like Steven Spielberg, <laughs> director of such films as Always and 1941. I salute those boys and their courage. I am hereby cutting all my funding to the Scouts. The rally is also... <laughs> What a righteous fella. What a righteous fella. Caught the attention of high power lawyer Gloria Allred. It is a disgrace that these homophobes are allowed to discriminate. I am taking this case on personally. As soon as something of this proportion happens, be sure that opportunistic people are gonna leech the hell out of it. To support Tom, these boys are sure to have a victory for gays. Back to you. Thanks, Chris. In other news, the FBI has finally caught the child molester known as Mr. Slippy Fist. Is this a reference to Fisting Fireman 9? The sick child molester was found with disturbing graphic photos of young boys naked, which we will show you now. And when you think to yourself, finally, they're doing the right thing. They're showing you pictures of naked boys on the television. <laughs> Well, not as if there's a good time and context to show naked pictures of boys to someone. <sighs> Perhaps? One, and here's another. Daddy? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, look at this one, sick son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> they are gonna be best friends after this. Th th this is how it happens with boys. They bit the hell out of each other, and the next day they're just hanging around. Being the best buddies. <laughs> All right, boys, break it up. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of random countries joining the anti-Germany alliance at the end of the World War II. Break it up, guys. National socialism is not cool. Well, thank you, Costa Rica. That's a lot of help from you. <laughs> All rise. In the case of Big Gay Al versus Mountain Scouts of America, due to the overwhelming show of support, it is the ruling of this court that the Scouts must allow Big Gay Al and all gays into their club. Yeah! Well, we've all learned an important lesson, that just because somebody's gay doesn't mean they're gonna molest children. <laughs> right. Straight people do that too. Yeah! <laughs> and furthermore, Scout will be put into stocks for three days, so they can see how it feels to be outcast. We did it! We did it! I did it! I did it! <laughs> Today is a great day for democracy! The Scouts have been exposed for the vile gay bashes they are! Alright, the parade of righteousness! At this point, I actually forgot that Kenny was alive. Five brave little boys. And now, here to take his official oath back into Scouts is Big Gay Al. Thank you all very much. But I don't want this. What is that? Look, I appreciate what you kids did. I really do. But this isn't what I wanted. I'm proud to be gay. And I'm proud to be in a country where I'm free to express myself. But freedom is a two-way street. If I'm free to express myself, then the scouts have to be free to express themselves, too. Wise words, Big Al. Wise words. I know these men. They are good men. They are kind men. They do what they think is best for kids. No matter how wrong we think they might be, it isn't right for us to force them to think our way. It's up to us to persuade and help them see the light, not extort them, to. I am hereby dropping my case and allowing the scouts their right to not allow gays into their private club. What a giga chat move. Uh... Yeah! <laughs> so wait, did we do good? Yeah, I think so. We kick ass. Come on, kids, let's go get some ice cream. 
You can't do this, you homophobe! Everyone I don't like is a homophobe. An important lesson too, very much. There is room for more than one handy, capable person in Scouts. Timmy! I'm glad we're best friends now. See you at Scouts! Timmy! Timmy, 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 Timmy. What is my boy cooking? <laughs> All right, boys, I am your new scout leader. Everything is going to be just fine. No naked pictures. Ah, uh, Timmy! Yes, Timmy? Oh, dear. Jimmy? Yes? You know our policy. I'm afraid you're out of scouts. Out of scouts? <laughs> I saw a woman give birth, blood orgy, and now two fellas touching penises. <laughs> Thank you everyone, this really helps my sanity. <laughs> um, uh, what? Hey, wait a minute, this is crazy. You can't do this. Wow, I never knew Jimmy was gay. Me neither. No, no. And just as I thought that they're gonna be best friends, just as I thought, <laughs> Yeah, I don't think there's a greater conclusion than what Big Gay Al already said. If you want to have freedom of association, then other people should have freedom of association. And as I've mentioned, don't be afraid of open homosexuals. Be afraid of the closet at once. <laughs> that was it for today. Thank you for watching. I really enjoyed this episode. If you have more recommendations, drop them in the comments below. But apart from that, like, subscribe, all the usual stuff. And I'll see you next time.